Hey y'all, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews, and today we are here to unbox the February 2021 bone box. So let's get to it, huh? Okay, so recently we did a thing where we did the December and the January, and I just got the February. So if you aren't in the know, bone box is a subscription service where every month you receive a skull, a very nifty skull, in exchange for money. So you get a skull, you get a little something extra. I think it's around 20 something bucks a month, maybe 30. Yeah, anyway, you always get more than the value of the box. And I really enjoy bringing my boxes here and opening them on camera with you so that we can all enjoy the surprise. I think that's the only time I've ever opened one of those successfully. Ooh, so the shoot and share challenge. Basically, if you take a picture of your bone box item and you make it pretty, you can win, I think it's a free month. Regardless, that one is really lovely. And then it's very simple. Everything comes wrapped in plain paper. So this month, the something extra is an American beaver claw, which is priced at $8. And this is really interesting because you can also see the little toe bone attached at the end. I don't know what I was expecting a beaver claw to be like. I was not expecting it to be so very blunt. It doesn't even particularly feel scratchy, but I guess that makes sense because beavers aren't exactly battle animals, you know? Their entire go-to is, oh God, there's a thing. I'm gonna go underwater. And this month, our creature is I don't know. I thought it was a bird when I saw it through the bubble wrap. Oh, okay. This month it is a green iguana. I'll pull it out. Every month you get a little info card. This month bone box delivers to you the green iguana. Iguanas have sharp claws and extremely powerful tail that is even capable of breaking bone. This tail can break off during an attack, giving the iguana a chance to escape. Like many other lizards, the tail will regenerate with the bony vertebra being replaced with a cartilaginous rod. Look at the top of your iguana skull and you will notice a small circular opening. This is the parietal eye. The eye is a sensory organ found in many reptiles that can alert the reptile to changes in light, indicating predators overhead. Iguanas exhibit sexual dimorphism with males having more pronounced dorsal spines, fuller jowls, and a larger dewlap. The dewlap is skin that hangs below the jaw used in communication from friendly greetings and mating to establishing territorial dominance. Open the mouth of your skull and you will see dozens of small peg-like teeth. These teeth are pleurodont, meaning that the entire tooth is visible because they lack sockets. Their site of attachment is on the inner side of the upper maxilla and mandible and they're replaced throughout life. I didn't know that, that's fascinating. I had no clue that their teeth basically can just pop off. So I am going to hop up here so I can show you this. Be right back. Okay, so we have the green iguana, a skull which is valued at $99, which makes it easily double, possibly triple the price of the box this month. I think this might be one of the first reptile skulls we've gotten, and it's absolutely lovely. I think this might be the first reptile skull in my collection. So I do believe right here 
is that eye that they were talking about, the one that's used for light sensing. The skull is rough and craggy, not smooth the way that a mammal skull is, especially on the top. You can see that there are no particularly pronounced cheekbones, which I find interesting. And there's a laciness to the structures within. Now, if you open it, this has an extremely tight jaw. I am a little afraid I'm going to damage it if I, there we go. Wow. So these bones here are where the upper and lower jaw attach together and they attach extremely firmly. It is not at all like the cup socket that we have in humans. Now, if you look inside the jaw, you can see exactly what they were talking about with the teeth. The teeth are not socketed. Instead, they are just kind of stuck to the jaw, which means as one breaks or falls out, a new one can just push up and replace it super, super easily. This is also much heavier than a lot of the jaw bones that I run into. It feels incredibly solid, very, very dense. And it is extremely similar in the top of the skull as well. The teeth are the same. The bones are very heavy. And I especially love the snout. I don't know why. The nasal structures on this just delight me in a way that mammals don't. So, yeah, massive orbital sockets as well. This was a pleasure. I absolutely was not expecting to get something like this in my box. And I'm really, really excited to put it into my collection at home. I'm hoping that soon I'll, A, be able to get this thing to go back together. There we go. All right, teeth are back. So soon I'll be changing rooms with one of my roommates and I'm hoping that once we get that done, I'll be able to set up actual displays for things like my skull collections and then I can actually do a proper inventory and give you guys a here's what's actually in my room kind of thing. Cause I know there's been requests over the year or two that I've been doing this to actually come up with a Here's what I have. And that's that's when it'll happen. Hopefully the move will happen, knock on wood, by the end of the month, maybe by the end of next month. So soon, soon I will be able to show you guys. In the meantime, I think we're gonna call it on this one. If you want to get your own bone box, they have no affiliates program, but I will put the link down there. If you want to find me anywhere I exist online, that's beacons.ai slash lillabunt. If you would like to toss me a couple bucks on Ko-Fi, which you don't have to, I appreciate it. Ko-Fi.com slash Lily O'Reilly. And I know everyone asks for this, but if you could give me a thumbs up, that's actually one of the best things you can do for the algorithm right now. And if you like my bone boxes, you can subscribe, but to be honest, I only do one or two a month. So yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you there. Most of my channel is a little different. <laughs> but in the meantime, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, wash your hands, get vaccinated when you can. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>